The iPhone 11 Pro Max has a better display than the Note 10 Plus. In fact, it has the best smartphone display ever. But before you downvote and leave a nasty comment, let me explain exactly how and why. Yesterday, we put out our detailed comparison of the iPhone 11 Pro Max compared to the Note 10, my two favorite phones, which both have their strings, and I tried my very best to be unbiased, but I still got a ton of hate. So many people thought that I was actually rigging the test to favor the iPhone. I absolutely wasn't, and I have proof. The biggest issue people had was the brightness comparison, where I set the brightness manually to the max and the iPhone was so much brighter. Now I know that Apple really stepped up their display game with the iPhone 11 Pros, but I thought that they had just kind of stepped up and finally reached the level of the Note 10s and the S10 Plus's displays. That's why I was so shocked to see how much brighter it was, just as shocked as you guys were. And so I spent about five minutes going through every single setting to make sure that there wasn't any power modes or any any other software limiting the brightness, and there wasn't, it was actually set to plus 10% brightness in the settings and in the high performance mode, but we were still seeing a huge difference. So after seeing all of the comments, we decided to investigate further and see what was causing this. We started to redo our testing and made sure that the note was charged and once again the power settings were set to full performance. I turned off the auto brightness and set both to the max. And right there, right away, I saw the same exact results as we did before. Now I have to mention that cameras are more sensitive to light differences, but even in person, uh, the difference is very big. As I was testing, I turned off the display of the Note 10 and turned it back on, and right then, my eyes caught something. The Note 10 started off being fairly bright, and then almost instantly it dimmed the display, even though it was manually set to the max, whereas the iPhone stayed consistent. This had me thinking, what if the Note 10 can't run anywhere near the full brightness if there's a lot of bright content on the display? To test this, I found a wallpaper designed for OLED displays that is mostly black. As you can see, the iPhone is still brighter, but the results are much, much closer than before. Next, I opened up YouTube in the settings page where dark mode is enabled, and then now they are actually closer, but the iPhone is still a little bit brighter. And to test this further, I decided to play back a Netflix HDR video, and interestingly, when the video is paused, the white controls are actually slightly brighter on the Note 10, but as soon as we start playing back content and there's more bright areas, the iPhone has a sizable lead. I've previously heard that it's best to keep your phone in auto brightness as many phones can actually get brighter that way if you're in direct sunlight. So we headed outside and I opened up The Verge which has a dark design and I scrolled to fill most of the display with black. So with auto brightness on and this method where the sun is just banging on the screen, the Note 10 was actually very slightly brighter than the iPhone. So we have our answer. The Note 10 Plus does have a display that is capable of the same 1200 nits as the iPhone, but the times that it can actually get that high and sustain it there is quite rare. So that means we have either hardware or software limitations, or probably both, that don't allow it to reach the same sustained levels as the iPhone. Now some of you will say, how could this be if Samsung makes these displays for Apple? Well, Samsung does make the displays, but just the panels themselves, not the display controller, not the calibration, not the software and other things that set it apart. If you just look at the spec sheet, they seem very similar or practically the same, but in the real world, there are some clear differences. Now, brightness isn't the only thing that matters. We also have things like color accuracy, reflections, contrast, etc. And this is where DisplayMate's crazy detailed tests come in. They rated the iPhone 11 Pro's display as the highest absolute color accuracy, smallest shift in color, highest full screen brightness for OLED phones, and highest peak HDR brightness, and along with that, the lowest screen reflections and the smallest brightness shift. Taking a deep dive into their results, I once again found validation for our first comparison. They say that the Note 10 produces 410 nits when maxing out the brightness in manual on a white screen compared to the iPhone's 770 nits. And for a more normal average use case of 50%, the Note 10 has 465 nits compared to 821. That is a huge difference and that is exactly what we saw in our comparison. 
So there we have it, proof that the iPhone 11 Pro does in fact have the better display, that it gets noticeably brighter with average use, and that original comparison wasn't biased or set up in any way. We were just as shocked as you guys were, and now we know exactly why. I also want to add in that the Note 10 Plus still has a display that is gorgeous with super thin bezels without a notch and the brightness and colors are better than almost every single phone that is out there and if you buy one of these you will definitely not be disappointed but our original comparison and tests do stand true. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to see that original comparison, if you guys didn't see it, click right over there. Click above to subscribe and down below to enable notifications. This has been Max with Max Tech and I will see you in the next one.